All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Banana, Banana Fish, Fish, episode seven. seven. Los right. Angeles, baby. Mm -hmm. LA, LA. Yes, mm -hmm. the big city with the movie stars and stuff. Mm -hmm. We are there. Yeah, yeah, you'll be my American boy. Yep. American boy. <laughs> and maybe, like, no one will die this episode, you know? Like, that, that would be nice because we had people dying in the last episode mm -hmm. and and that was that was a bit um a bit much yeah 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 but yeah. i mean hey <laughs> you know people are dying y yeah 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 they got a professional after them they they, they do someone that could be a, a, a serious threat because mm -hmm. we know this show is not scared of killing characters nope they got ammo and they've got ammo in an ensemble cast of side characters Although one of them is practically immune to bullets, just JoJo goes through yes, it all. Absolutely, um, you guys know who we're talking about. Yeah, we're we talking know. about taller, taller, yes, yes taller, Go larger, mm -hmm. manly. Indeed, yes, mm -hmm. that's right. Just, just, just nothing, just nothing chatter. will ever, ever, ever hurt shorter. Mm -mm. And if it does. The bullets well, will go above him anyway. Yeah, exactly. Right, he's, right. He's too short. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah. yep. The, the NPCs generally aim for like headshots at those it's, specific spots there. So. The hair just draws their attention and mm -hmm. the bullets go right through it. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's mm -hmm. too good. It's too good. So, take me to New York. <laughs> I'd like to see LA. <laughs> Without further ado, let's just jump right into this. Photo time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Shorter! Oh my god! <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Hollywood! Oh <my> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh! Oh. Oh my god! Holy <laughs> shit. She's... I'm sorry, I kind of like her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's really nervous about this. Oh. They're good friends. Yeah. Ha! Oh, hey, hey. Oh. 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 Ha <laughs> ha! The kid is just like, uh. <laughs> I'm out. Yeah. Y'all some weirdos. Mm hmm. Oh, a wholesome. Yeah, I know, I know. Even if it's a broken family. <sighs> yeah. Ash seeing that little bit of himself in. <laughs> Should he just? He's just, he's trying to get. Damn. Wait wait wait, bro bro yeah no, bro bro. What that's, are you doing? That's a lot of mustard. Oh. 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 <laughs> That's a death flag if I ever saw one. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Seriously. Mm hmm. Oh. Hmm. That's worrisome. Yeah. Yeah. Trap, trap, trap. It's a trap. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wow. Shot the guns out of their hands. Okay, well, okay, shorter, go kick their asses. Mm. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Is this the person from the OP that we saw behind Shorter? Okay. okay. <laughs> mm hmm 
いつの中見ていいかあはいでもログインするのパスワードな,なんとかするさえっ調べられるかうんかい Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, I think so. Uh huh. Adopted. Right, and the, he, Dino contacted Chinatown to send somebody. Hmm. AG, nice, nice. Uh huh. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't freak out when he approached from behind. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. Oh, That's shit. lots of info. Yeah, and Max is here. Good, good. So if it is him, he can't make a move right now. Yeah. Okay. It's so good. Yeah. He's oh. back? Okay. Okay. Damn. He made some kind of deal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, cool, cool transition, yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, yeah. Damn. And his sister's back there. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, uh, what a bro! He's gonna have to navigate this whole thing by I know. himself! <sighs> oh. He's like, wait a minute. No one's food is better than mine. Oh, watch, it's gonna be the the sun. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was the one of the OP. Yep. Yeah. It's creeped around him, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is getting... Yep. This is getting crazy. <sighs> like you said. Uh-huh. Mm. Just like that. Yeah. Go back to that world. Mm -hmm. Yep. While well, you still can. Mm. 
<laughs> He's very on edge. Lots of people just showing up behind him, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Ah! Uh, so many death flags! I know. Backup plans. Backup plans, contingencies. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. And you can tell that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you bitch. Oh, shit. Well, maybe he's just pissed and he kills you anyways. Wow. Do you have any pride? Yeah. Uh huh. He almost cut off his knot, too. Mm hmm. Oh! <sighs> no. Of course, yeah, she's uh -huh. all entirely in on it. Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh no. God. No! No! Why? God damn it. <sighs> well, okay. All right. right. This episode gave right. us a very significant development in terms of the larger yep. plot because... Mm -hmm. The Lee clan has seven sons, and they are all now conspiring against our yep. little band of protagonists. They... Yutlung, the snake in their midst, was a plant. Even mm -hmm. the old granny there is also a plant as well. So this whole thing is yep. set up to where Shorter has to bear the burden of knowing everything that's going on, but right. also making sure that it doesn't lead to any kind of a bloody conflict because... His sister will die if that happens. Mm -hmm. Then, not only that, Ash and and or Ag could get into a big situation as well. Right. And given that Ag is the one that he's going to want to kidnap, because that mm -hmm. will be the perfect leverage on Ash, yep. because of the way he yep. saw that he interacted with, uh, well, well, him. Right. Versus got a good everybody read on else. The two of them. Yeah, and I I love that detail. There were so oh, yeah. many little bits of comfortable familiarity that Ash and Ag shared where the idea of oh he didn't you know jump upon seeing you know him have come in uh -huh. like you were yeah. saying but not only that there were multiple times later in the episode where other characters showed up behind him and he jumped as well mm -hmm. yep. showing that basically it's not just oh I don't know you it's even among people I know you're not Ag right Ag yeah. sounds and feels specifically different, yep. and it's just like, oh my god, this is such a great slow starting build up to where their to where their just relationship will end up blossoming into something wonderful, right? And then of course it's probably going to end in tragedy. Mm -hmm. But okay, here we go, here we go. This is shorter. A you are a Chad having to figure out the I, way to handle this whole thing and then showing I, your real visceral emotions to uh, uh -huh. Yutlung. Here, what I'm <sighs> hoping, what I'm hoping mm -hmm. is that Ash will have, like, gone into the room after they were talking or something like that. Later and sees, like, yeah. the knife hole. The knife hole and the long black hairs that are next to it or something like that. Um, but, like, I... He might not ever, though. But, it, but he might really not. plot convenient thing yeah. to have. Right. It's, it's just... It's one of those things where, as far as... Um, we know that AG can't actually go back to Japan, right? Because nope. then the story would end. Mm -hmm. um, at, you know, at, at most, he could, like, get to the airport and, and then maybe the come back. Right now for they're that. dealing with the visas and all of that stuff. It's going to slow it down a bit. But the idea of having AG get kidnapped, that is a very good mechanical reason to basically say, nope, he is forced to stay here a bit longer. Yep. And then... 
course it's going to get too crazy. Too many people are probably going to die and all that stuff. And then, oh no, if only he had been able to go back home. And having it be because, you know, one of them is like uh, the, the, the what's his face guy realizes, oh, AG's a prime target. Yeah, we kidnap him and then we yep. can have Ash go wherever we want. Makes sense. Cool. Because realistically, of course, one person, even if he's very well trained, is not going to be able to be an assassin and take out all of them by himself. Yeah. That's and, and they don't want Ash to die anyway. So exactly. it doesn't matter really what yep. happens to the others. It's right. just get ash and bring him back to dino <sighs> but i love the fact that all this is happening in the midst of them learning everything they can about banana fish which means that they're understanding the stakes of how this is a bigger conspiracy mm -hmm. of some sort yep. but then that's something that also yutlung will then learn pass along to his people mm -hmm. and that can create the larger kind of tension drama and conflict right. as a whole because he'll be like wait a minute just because we have this thing with Dino doesn't mean that we can't also score on whatever this banana fish thing is. Right. So there's it's, there's some cool dynamics that they could set up here to where Yutlung could end up actually joining them. I'm, potentially. I'm, I'm going to call it right now that Yutlung will actually, by it, the end of things, actually end up helping them because of Shorter. Shorter reached I, his emotional center for a little true. bit there. That's true. The, the stuff that Shorter, like entreated uh -huh. upon him was real it was visceral and it mm -hmm. was something where he's like oh shit like these are real tears on these are face. real tears but not only that if shorter is this emotional about this mm -hmm. i can't entirely control him like i can't That's, really yes, that predict is a what very he'll good do. point mm -hmm. i need to be careful here for one but also i can't not feel this i'm still a human being like the fact that he's doing this it's like Obviously, yeah. Yutlung is I a mean, professional. It, he very you know, much was able to act his way through all of this. Just while at fine. the same time threatening his sister and being like, you yes. know. Yes, and yeah, yet so, I think Shorter reached him a little bit. So I, yeah, I, I, I want to make right. a ballsy prediction that Yutlung will actually end up flipping because yeah. of Shorter. Whether I, I could see that potentially happening. Regardless, mm -hmm. I feel like Yutlung is now in a situation where he needs to be um, won over, whether it's by winning mm -hmm. him over or by shorter basically yeah. defeating him somehow like you know his hold over him or, or you know something uh -huh. along those lines but okay he is he is very smart so he'll <laughs> know he'll know when um when it when he's out of his depth and you know when mm -hmm. it when the time is right to strike but one of the other things that i thought was interesting is that max brought up the whole idea of hey oh, we can still that. we can still go to the reporters with the mm -hmm. information that we have uh -huh. that is something that yutlung has no reason to stop Theoretically, well, it has nothing to do with his mission, right? Exactly, yeah. and, and yet, expose himself, right? And yet, um, that is something that could absolutely destroy Dino, right? From the mm -hmm. standpoint of like his whole objective in this matter and everything. So, you know, regardless of what happens with Ag, I like that as being a backup plan, sort of like a mm -hmm. um, if everything goes tits up, I've already. Like, I've set up the info to be able to be sent to a reporter if we die or whatever, something like that. Sure. So that that way, maybe they could have some leverage of, like, you actually can't... I know you can't kill Ash, but you can't kill us either. Because if you do, you know, right. maybe Dino will get pissed that the information was leaked. Maybe Dino, if the information on Banana Fish yeah. gets out, he'll be like, actually, no, you kind of bungled this. The deal's off. You're not getting the heroin trade in Europe. You know, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, Gang war. Right, exactly. Yeah. But... Oh, yeah, the, this is just tense now. But Jessica and Michael yeah. introduced so quickly, and it's like, oh, yeah, this is great. I mean, we, great. we knew about them, right? essentially. Max's family that he's estranged by because of his time in prison and yep, stuff. Yep, yep, yep. But yeah, we, we were aware that they existed, but then getting to see them and, and get sort of won over by their, by their dynamic and everything. Yeah. And then immediately at the end, people show up, and it's like, why? Why? Why do you have to do this? Wasn't yeah. isn't kidnapping AG enough? Like, but. I will say though that um, I don't think there's any reason for them to kill the family though. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think so. I like, I think they would primarily use them again as another form of leverage to okay, split sure. up Ash's group. That no, that's a good point. Yeah, because if it, you kill them, it okay, you killed them. You made right. Max angry. Yeah, like, right. Like, like it's, it's it one of those things where the big the big confusion in that I had um, with this was like, why are they even here? Right. Yes. Yeah. You know, like like that that makes me think that it's two degrees from Ash and Well, yeah, two degrees from Ash, but also that's something where then you're tipping your hand that you have information about what they're doing. That means mm -hmm. that, you know, you are interacting or being spied upon, you know, by someone who is feeding information. It'll right? take a while for them to 
piece all that together. Totally. And and, and, and from the matter. immediate standpoint, if it's enough to separate Max from Ash while Ash goes after AG, that might be enough. That way yep. it's just Ash going after him. But oh man. I mean, yeah, this is basically just a professional setting up the ultimate like scheme to yep. separate Ash from the group. And theoretically, it, once it's working perfectly. Yep. And once Max goes to like save them or something, it could just be something where they're like, "Yep, here you go. We didn't care about killing them anyways. You know, um, you're yeah. you're over here now. You're where we need you to be. So yeah, and you know. we'll just let you know if you do anything with Ash again, if you see him again, we will kill them. Right? They can't because because the thing is is that like Max can go into hiding, right? Mm -hmm. But they have a life and everything, right? Right. They have they have public records and things and you know and trails and stuff. Yeah. It's like shorter with his sister, right? Yeah. They could literally do the thing where they rough them up, mm -hmm. scare the shit out of Max, leave a letter basically with the "We know who you are. Mm -hmm. We know where your family is. If you meet up with yep. Ash again for anything or if you help him in any way, we will kill them." Right. And that would be it. Mm -hmm. Like that. Imagine yeah. they don't need to do enough to get him so pissed off that he tries to God, get revenge. He just or whatever. wanted to give a base moment for his birthday. I know. I know. He hasn't it's, seen him in so it's, long. It's the thing is, is that it's something where it's um, it's so it's so overt to the emotional beats that are being done. It's almost tropey, but the thing is that doesn't make it work less, right? Mm -hmm. It's just like, God damn it! Why? Why can't? Why can't, we, why can't just, we have nice things? Why can't we have nice things? You know. Yep. Uh, why couldn't a custody battle be the least of their problems? Right. Or, or, or the, the, fact the that worst she of their problems? Drew a gun on him right. and pulled it away because Shinichi shit was there. You know, it's like, yeah. well. Uh huh. I. <sighs> <sighs> oh my god. Um, I really liked the Ash characterization this episode. Hmm. All parents are awful. Yeah. Okay. Which, after the previous episode, even. But also, he specifically tried to egg her on so that she would do something. Hmm. Like, like, he was specifically like, Obasan, Obasan, right, right. yeah, you know, like he's really Let's like see the real you kind of a thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And in some ways, he might have already kind of judged her as being like, yeah, you're a shit parent, basically. Right. Whatever. But the idea that oh, this is how Ash sees the world, but specifically families with regards mm -hmm. to the world. The way he looked at the kid and was like, huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. right. <sighs> then also the interactions he had with Ag. That was really well, good. He's doing this for you know, Shinichi. He's not mm -hmm. really serious about this, except for the part where he's like, no, you guys are right. Uh -huh. I don't AG's like that not, you're right, but yeah, you're right. Right. AG is not um, supposed to be here. Right. This is not good for him. Yep. And and I love that it was something where he says it, he, he's very upfront about it, mm -hmm. and then eBay's kind of like, oh shit, I... Hmm. And then he goes and tells Ash or tells Ag he's like, by the way, I, mm -hmm. I was the one who asked him to say that. Yeah. <sighs> but yeah, and then Ag's kind of little talk with. Mm -hmm. eBay why did I even bother coming here? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I. Oh, God. You know, it's something where this this show is. I've, I've you know just had this sense the entire time that like yeah it's it's going to end horribly tragedy and all of that stuff right yeah. and yet i can't look away from it right because it's yeah. it's super engaging and everything and yet i find myself as silly as it is wishing and hoping that there could be some kind of happy ending so there could be because there could like, be you're telling me there's a chance right but like the show literally did this thing where it opened back up with the family michael and jessica and uh -huh. um, he's having the mitt on his head. Right. Looking out at the window through the camera. Like, sorts. that is that is one of the most, like, like mm. yes, if you ha ever had a baseball mitt as a kid, you absolutely tried wearing it like a hat at some mm. point. Like, you just do. But they're just like, ah, the cute factor. Reminder. Mm -hmm. There, that's yeah. so cute. Yes. Oh, okay. Trauma incoming. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like, oh. <sighs> Okay, but that's that's an episode very fast paced. Mm -hmm. um, I loved the way in which Ash immediately picked up on the idea that this guy is just a bit mm -hmm. off, and even in that he was trying so hard to blend in that he ended up focusing on his subconscious stuff and the fact that he might have even like been like eh, I'm not so sure about it, and then uh, Yutlung was like, 
oh, you know, that, that you know, those movements and stuff like that, that's, you know, something that as a Chinese person, we're, we're taught, we're brought up to move quietly. And he just goes, oh, is that how it is? Basically, like, yeah. I hadn't brought that up. Oh. Like, you know, the fact that you are thinking about that is like, uh, oh, wait, no, 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 yeah. No, that's right, that's right. He says, did I surprise you? He's like, I don't think being approached from behind. I grew up in a tough neighborhood. Have some jasmine tea is relaxing. You oh, don't yeah. make any sound when you walk, right? Right. What do you mean? And he's like, I meant what I said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, huh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh okay. yeah, and then he's like, not shorter though. Like sh- shorter wasn't you know brought up to 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 make no sound when he moves around. Oh mm. right. Yeah. Yeah, and then he's like, mm, shit, <laughs> <laughs> damn it. <laughs> yep. Changes the subject. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ash was like, "Nah, bitch, I, right. I, I got, I got you on lock." Like, also, I gotta say, as far as, um, as far as adorableness, for before the the uh, sad stuff later, mm-hmm. I would categorize shorter at the very beginning of the episode as being under that category as well. Mm-hmm. With him just being like, "Oh, <laughs> uh-huh. hot girl," right? Yeah. And then, you know, just just without a care in the world, you know, resting his legs up over the back of the truck. And then, mm. all right, we need you to betray your best friend or we'll kill your sister. Yeah. Yeah. And then the difference of when he noticed, when Yutlung noticed that AG Asian approached sh- from behind, mm-hmm. very much like in a way that Ash would notice. Yep. And he's like, wait a minute. Hold oh, on. Hold on. Yeah. Yep. And he's like, just watch. Like, he feels all proud to show right. this off to AG. He's uh-huh. like, see? He's like, oh, you're amazing. High five. High we're, five. Interlocked we're fingers. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Also, the fact that they have files is a big deal for if they do try to go public with this, because then it's not just rumor. It's hey, here's actual like data Evidence and information. And stuff, yeah, yeah. All mm-hmm. right, but yeah, yep. Yeah, great, fast-paced episode. <sighs> ah, okay, next episode. Yeah, I guess here we go. So, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access. You can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yeah, so if ain't that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.